Next up, I'd like to quickly introduce you to one of the most useful resources that you'll see me use all the time in this course and I recommend you use all the time. It's called Mozilla Developer Network or MDN. Uh, again, it's a lifesaver. It is a resource that covers the basics and more, not just the basics, of web technologies. So resources for developers written by developers. Think of it as Wikipedia for HTML and CSS and JavaScript and, the, and browsers and a whole bunch of other stuff. It explains the rules of HTML. It's full of tutorials and references and guides, and uh, I'll be using it a lot. Again, I use it a lot in my real life as a teacher, as a developer, a couple times a day at least, I'm on MDN. So it is documentation. It's resources that help you understand and help you learn about these technologies. Keep in mind that Mozilla is not the creator of HTML and CSS and JavaScript. There are other resources that are similar to MDN. This is just one sort of encyclopedia of knowledge, but it's not an official document or anything. It's created, it's open source, it's created by developers. Um, we'll talk more about how HTML is created and how it changes and who's in charge and all of that later on. Right now, it doesn't really matter. So just really quickly, a couple things that I like to highlight under references here. We're focusing on HTML for now, but eventually we'll be doing CSS and JavaScript. On HTML, there are some tutorials, learn HTML, but what I want to show you is the element reference. And this shows us all of the valid HTML elements that we could be using. So we just use the bold tag, which I believe would be under, is it right here? Here it is, B. Technically these days they call it the bring attention to element. We'll discuss why later on. Um, but we've got an introduction to it, a paragraph that explains what it does. We've got some examples here and we can see what it looks like rendered by the browser. You can change this and it will automatically be updated. We have some other information. Uh, we'll talk about attributes later. We have more examples. So it's just an explanation of how things work. So MDN, great resource. And when you're Googling something, if you're stuck, if you're trying to figure out something around, let's say um, you don't know how to make a form in HTML. Well, we, we haven't covered that. What I like to do is just search HTML form MDN for Mozilla Developer Network. I favor them so much, I want to find those results. And there we go. But don't worry, we'll learn about forms later on. Uh, you don't need to read that for now. Okay, so that is MDN, an invaluable resource. Keep that in mind. Use it all the time.